<laughs> so, you know, Tokyo has always been like number one on the travel bucket list. It, it definitely was a priority. First, uh, flew. Well, I flew from New York to LA. Then it was a 10-hour trip from LA to Tokyo. It actually wasn't that bad. The food was pretty good. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. This is the furthest I've ever flown. We then from Tokyo. Tokyo Airport took a train, um, a bullet train, to Shinjuku, where our Airbnb was. We can. This trip was all about experience and authenticity of experience. I think uh, we were able to really enjoy the culture of Shinjuku such a crazy city, especially after midnight. I guess we can use the crosswalk. Only downside is, you know, these promoters would hound you about these, uh, you know, titty bars, as they called it. So it, that was a little different and annoying, but uh, once you get over that, I mean, it's such a beautiful and interesting city and there's food, great food everywhere. Eventually, next day we headed out to Shibuya, which is also a very popular spot. Everywhere here is such a different vibe. Again, the food was great. We had brunch at this Tokyo slash Hawaiian spot called Eggs and Things, um, and it was great. As the cop passes by. But the main event that day was Mario Kart racing through downtown Shibuya. I mean, that was just epic. Later that night, we uh, went to our pre-booked reservations for a robot restaurant. Um, heard a lot of things about this place, heard it was crazy, um, and it definitely lived up to its hype. When I first saw this place on Anthony Bourdain's uh, CNN show, his reaction was my reaction to one, two o'clock in the morning. That's pretty early for Shinjuku. We eventually just went home. Most of these days, we were literally out for 12, 14, 16 hours almost um, out of the day. By the time we left in the morning and got back at night, um, really there was only time to sleep. about a 20-30 minute walk to our second Airbnb. We decided to stay the night in Osaka just because it was so far. Um, and again, these places are so different. Um, super different. Everywhere is just different. But the one common theme is food. So 
so after Osaka, uh, we went to Kyoto um, to go to probably the most famous Japanese tourist spot, um, and it was amazing. I mean, it was it was vast. Uh, it was just like the pictures, um, and it was amazing. Um, walked around for a couple hours, and then headed back to Shinjuku because uh, we were starving. Yeah, I got sick of my head. It's itching. Ah, <laughs> uh, this kind of spicy. I had to take a break. Oh, and in Shinjuku, there's a batting cage that literally everyone goes to to relieve stress. I mean, there's most of the people there had suits on. I mean, these people were just getting off of work. And mind you, this is like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I didn't do so well. Uh, I think my last day, or the day before my last day, we went to the world's largest fish market in Tokyo. Um, so she was a little pricey, but um, it was just great to see all the people and all the energy. Eventually, we headed out to Odaiba, uh, or Tokyo Bay, and um, that kind of capped off the trip for me. It was, you know, it was everything that I wanted it to be, um, and I highly recommend um, a trip to Tokyo sometime within your lifetime.